In this video, we'll do the uh, battle drill for breaching an anti-tank ditch with berm. There's two ways to do this. The first way will be, like I mentioned in the constructing video, and that will be using an AVLB and a M9 Ace. So what will happen first, this is after the enemy's been suppressed. Okay, so we got, we're employing SOSR, S-O-S-R, Suppress, Obscure, Secure, Reduce. We've suppressed the enemy fires. We've, we've obscure, obscured between the obstacle and the enemy positions to prevent them from being able to put in some uh, accurate direct fire on us. We've secured the immediate area of the breach site. So now the engineers are called in for the reduce. The AVLB will come forward and launch his bridge. He will lay it across the trench. He will try to get as much as possible on the other side here so that he gets a good footing. He will then lay the bridge in place and the launcher will disconnect and pull to the side. He still stays nearby the bridge in case he has to move it to get a better footing or better reposition it. Now after the bridge is down, the launcher is off to the side over here. So that will be our launcher. Our bridge is right here right now. The ace or other earth mover, and it's typically not going to be a dozer because they don't have the speed really for this because this is a drill that has to be done quickly. He comes up over the bridge, he keeps his blade up a little bit, and he starts ramming the berm. He's trying to push it over. He's cutting down into it, cutting down into it, cutting down into it till he can get all the way through. Then he pulls to the side. At that point is when the assault force would go through. It could be Bradley's, could be a couple M1s. Or it could be if there's a minefield right back here, you could have an engineer squad then come up and start doing their breach on the minefield. That's the quickest way to breach an anti-tank ditch. But if the ditch is too wide for the bridging asset, we're not going to be able to get a good footing on either side then they're going to have to go through and they're going to have to dig it out. In this one, SOS is still is put in place and then the reduce is called in. The engineer blade assets called in. It's not uncommon that you, at the same time that the blade asset comes up, you'll see a Bradley because, or some other infantry fighting vehicle because it's taller than a tank pull up also to provide some security. They'll be off to the side away from the dig site. Now, when the dig asset comes in, first push he does, he drops his blade, he starts pushing dirt down in, straight in. He then backs up to the side, drops his blade, pushes dirt down in, pulls back to the other side, drops his blade, pushes his dirt in. He keeps doing it as a funnel, pushing the dirt into this location up through here. That's where the cut's going in. He keeps doing it as a funnel because if he keeps going like this, all he's doing is making another ditch leading into it. By coming in as a funnel, he's bringing in more and more dirt without digging down too far. Once he gets enough of a little uh, mound, pushed in here. He starts attacking the other side. For this, he raises his blade and he starts pushing. He keeps attacking, keeps attacking, keeps attacking, keeps attacking. He's trying to knock that down. He's trying to get that other side to a collapse, get some of that spoil from the berm on the other side to collapse. And he just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going until he can push all the way through and then starts pushing it on the other side. Then he starts digging, it, that, digging that berm down. And then once he's all the way through, he's got that breach 
in, same thing, he pulls to the side. And then whatever assault element or breach element moves right in and through. Hopefully that gives you an idea. I cannot tell you um, spe a specific time for how long this is going to take because it really depends on the soil that you're digging in and that stuff, the amount of enemy fire you're taking and all that. But this is something that needs to be done quickly. You usually have a little bit of cover from that berm so that the enemy positions that are up here, they're not going to see what's going on right in this immediate area here. But after you've busted through that berm, they're going to see where the stuff's going on. They're going to be able to see through. And it also gives them a location to concentrate their fires. They know that vehicles are going to be coming through there. So you could have something where you get an M1 or some other type of tank coming up. He's starting to cut push through the berm and he gets taken out right at that position which then blocks that off well all you can do then is try putting in another breach in another location but ideally you should have more than one uh, breach going on especially with this type of obstacle but you do it as fast as you can and get through there so that the enemy has you make it harder for them to uh, target you once you're past that breach point because the breach point is a funnel for their fire so they're going to direct it rightly directly at you now for all my engineer brothers and the patriot and militia movements always remember essayons <laughs>